I tested many Chromebooks recently and the five Chromebooks I'm gonna talk about in this video are definitely my favorite ones. In the end, I'm gonna rate each one of them from one to 10. Links to all of these products will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. Number five, HP Dragonfly Pro Chromebook. The HP Dragonfly Pro Chromebook has been my daily driver for the past few weeks, and I have to say it's quite a, an impressive machine. When I first unboxed this sleek Chromebook, I was immediately struck by its premium look and feel. The ceramic white finish is absolutely stunning and really sets it apart from other laptops I've used. But of course, looks aren't everything, so I was eager to put the Dragonfly Pro through its paces. One of the standout features for me has been the keyboard. The RGB backlighting is a fun touch, but more importantly, the keys themselves feel fantastic to type on. There is a satisfying tactile feedback with each keystroke, and I have found myself able to type quickly and accurately for extended periods without any discomfort. The 14-inch display is another highlight. With a brightness of up to 1200 nits, I have had no issues using the Dragonfly Pro outdoors or in brightly lit environments. The colors are vibrant and the details are crisp making it a joy to watch videos or browse photos. The touchscreen is responsive and smooth, although I don't find myself reaching for it too often since the trackpad is excellent. Speaking of the trackpad, it uses haptic feedback instead of a physical click, similar to what you'd find on a MacBook. It took a bit of getting used to, but now I prefer it over traditional trackpads. The large surface area makes navigating the UI a breeze. Performance-wise, the 12th generation Intel Core i5 processor and 16 GB of RAM have been more than sufficient for my needs. I regularly have over a dozen Chrome tabs open, along with Android apps and Linux programs running in the background, and I haven't noticed any slowdowns or hiccups. Even more intensive tasks like editing photos in Lightroom or coding in Android Studio have been handled with ease. Battery life is always a concern with powerful laptops, and while the Dragonfly Pro won't win any endurance awards, I've been averaging around 6-7 to seven hours on a charge with my typical workload. That's with the screen at a comfortable brightness level and the RGB keyboard lighting turned on. It's enough to get me through most of workday, but I do keep the charger handy just in case. There are a few minor drawbacks to note. The four USB-C ports offer plenty of connectivity, but I do miss having a USB-A port for my older peripherals. The 8 megapixel webcam is great for video calls, but the lack of a physical privacy shutter is a bit disappointing at this price point. And as much as I love the ceramic white finish, it does seem to pick up smudges and fingerprints rather easily. But those quibbles aside, the HP Dragonfly Pro Chromebook is a fantastic machine that really showcases the best of what Chrome OS has to offer in 2023. The combination of premium hardware, solid performance and unique features like the RGB keyboard and haptic trackpad make it a compelling option for anyone in the market for a high-end Chromebook. Just be prepared to pay a pretty penny for the privilege. Number 4. Acer Chromebook Spin 714 As someone who values both performance and portability in a laptop, I've been putting this sleek 2-in-1 through its paces to see how it stacks up in real-world use. First and foremost, let's talk about the design. The aluminum chassis gives the Spin 714 a premium look and feel, while still keeping the weight down for easy portability. The 14-inch touchscreen display with its 16 to 10 aspect ratio provides ample screen real estate for productivity tasks and media consumption alike. I found the 1920 to 1200 resolution to be crisp and clear with vibrant colors that made watching videos and browsing photos a pleasure. Under the hood, the 12th generation Intel Core i5 processor and 8GB of RAM provide plenty of power for multitasking and running demanding applications. Throughout my testing, the Spin 714 handled everything I threw at it with ease, from juggling dozens of Chrome tabs to running Android apps and even some light photo editing. The 256GB SSD provides ample storage space for documents, media and apps, while also keeping the system responsive and boot times quick. Battery life is another area where the Spin 714 shines. In my experience, I was consistently able to get around 10 hours of use on a single charge, which is more than enough to get through a full workday without needing to hunt for an outlet. When it does come time to recharge, the included 65W USB-C charger tops up the battery quickly. One of my favorite features of the Spin 714 is its versatility. The 360-degree hinge allows you to use it in a traditional laptop mode, tent mode for presentations or media viewing, or tablet mode for more intuitive touchscreen interaction. The included USI stylus is also a nice touch, providing a natural writing and drawing experience when used with the touchscreen. Of course, no device is perfect, and there are a couple of areas where the Spin 714 could be improved. The speakers, while serviceable, lack the punch and clarity of some other laptops in this price range. And while the backlit keyboard is comfortable to type on, the touchpad, 
can feel a bit cramped at times. Overall though, the Acer Chromebook Spin 714 is a compelling package for anyone in the market for a premium Chromebook. With its combination of performance, portability and versatility, it's a device that can easily handle the demands of work and play alike. If you're looking for a Chromebook that can keep up with your busy lifestyle, the Spin 714 is definitely worth considering. Number 3. Acer Chromebook Spin 514 As someone who's always on the go, juggling work and personal tasks, I have found this Chromebook to be a reliable and versatile device that strikes a great balance between performance and portability. One of the first things that caught my attention was the Spin 514's sleek and sturdy design. The aluminum chassis gives it a premium feel, and it's surprisingly lightweight considering its 14-inch size. I've been carrying it around in my backpack during my daily commute, and it's never felt like a burden. The 360-degree hinge is smooth and allows me to easily switch between laptop, tablet, tent, and stand modes depending on my, on my needs. When it comes to performance, the AMD Ryzen 5 processor and 8GB of RAM have been more than sufficient for my everyday tasks. I have had no issues with multitasking, running multiple Chrome tabs, and using Android apps simultaneously. The Spin 514 boots up quickly and remain snappy throughout the day. Battery life is another area where this Chromebook shines. I've been consistently getting around 13 hours on a single charge, which is impressive considering my heavy usage. It's great not having to worry about finding a power outlet during long work sessions or when I'm out and about. The 14-inch Full HD touchscreen display is crisp and responsive, making it a pleasure to use for both work and entertainment. The backlit keyboard is comfortable to type on and the large trackpad is smooth and accurate. I also appreciate the inclusion of a USB-C port on each side of the laptop, making it convenient to charge or connect peripherals regardless of which side the Chromebook is facing. While the Spin 514 may not have the most cutting-edge specs or features compared to some higher-end Chromebooks, it more than makes up for it with its solid performance, long battery life, and versatile form factor. It's a great choice for anyone looking for a reliable and affordable Chromebook that can handle everyday tasks with ease. Number 2. Asus Chromebook Plus CX34 When I first unboxed this sleek white Chromebook, I was impressed by its minimalist design and solid build quality. The speckled white chassis with grey accents really makes it stand out from the sea of black and silver laptops out there. Under the hood, the CX34 packs an Intel Core i3 processor, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, which is a step up from what you typically find in budget Chromebooks. In my day-to-day -day use, which involves a lot of web browsing, document editing and streaming videos, the CX34 handles everything I threw at it without breaking a sweat. I often had over a dozen tabs open across multiple windows and virtual desktops along with a few Android and Linux apps running in the background, and I didn't notice any significant slowdowns or hiccups. The 14-inch 1080p display is sharp and vibrant, with good viewing angles thanks to its IPS panel. While it's not the brightest screen out there at 250 nits, I found it more than adequate for indoor use. The keyboard is another highlight. It's backlit, spacious, and a joy to type on, with good key travel and tactile feedback. Battery life is decent, if not exceptional. In my usage, I consistently get around 8-9 to nine hours on a single charge, which is enough to get through a full workday. The port selection is also pretty generous for a Chromebook, with two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, a headphone jack, and an HDMI output. Of course, no laptop is perfect, and the CX34 does have a few minor drawbacks. The plastic build, while sturdy, doesn't feel as premium as some higher-end Chromebooks. The touchpad, while smooth and responsive, has a bit more flex than I'd like. And like most Chromebooks, you are limited to web apps and Android apps from the Play Store, so it may not be the best choice if you rely on specific Windows or Mac software. But for the price, which starts at just $399 for the base model, the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34 is a compelling option. It offers solid performance, a great keyboard and display, and a stylish design that punches above its weight class. If you are in the market for an affordable Chromebook that can handle the basics and then some, the CX34 is definitely worth considering. And number 1. HP Chromebook X360 14C I personally love this laptop. The 14-inch touchscreen display is bright and responsive, making it a pleasure to navigate through Chrome OS and interact with Android apps. I have found the 1920-1200 resolution to be crisp and clear for both work and play, although I do wish it got a bit brighter for outdoor use on sunny days. Under the hood, the 11th generation Intel Core i3 processor and 8GB of RAM provide snappy performance for everyday tasks like browsing the web, streaming videos, and working with Google Docs and Sheets. I can comfortably keep over a dozen tabs open without any noticeable slowdown. 
The 256 GB SSD offers plenty of storage space for my files and media, which is a nice step up from the more limited eMMC storage often found in cheaper Chromebooks. The backlit keyboard is a delight to type on, with good key travel and a satisfying tactile response. I appreciate the inclusion of a numeric keypad, which comes in handy for data entry. The touchpad is large and accurate, making it easy to navigate without reaching for the touchscreen. Speaking of which, the 360-degree hinge allows you to flip the screen around and use the Chromebook as a tablet, which is great for casual web browsing or playing Android games. Battery life is where the X360 14C falls a bit short of my expectations. In my experience, I'm averaging around 7 to 8 hours on a chart with mixed usage, which is enough to get through most of a workday, but not quite the all-day endurance I was hoping for. It's not a deal breaker, but it's worth keeping in mind if you plan to be away from an outlet for extended periods. Overall, the HP Chromebook X360 14C is a well-rounded package that offers a premium design, solid performance, and the versatility of a convertible form factor. While the battery life could be better and the price is on the higher end for a Chromebook, I think it's a compelling option for anyone looking for a high-quality Chrome OS experience. And now the overall ratings. Starting with the HP Dragonfly Pro Chromebook, I rated an 8.5 out of 10. This Chromebook stands out with its premium ceramic white finish, excellent keyboard, and vibrant display, although the battery life and lack of a USB-A ports are slight drawbacks. Next, the Acer Chromebook Spin 714 earns a 9 out of 10. Its combination of a solid performance, impressive battery life, and versatile 2-in-1 design makes it a top choice for those needing a reliable workhorse. Its only shortfalls are the mediocre speakers and somewhat cramped touchpad. The Acer Chromebook Spin 514 gets an 8 out of 10. It strikes a great balance between affordability and performance with impressive battery life and a robust design, though it doesn't pack the most cutting-edge features. Moving to the Asus Chromebook Plus CX34, I give it a 7.5 out of 10. It offers good value with decent performance and a nice keyboard and display. However, the build feels a bit cheap and the battery life is just average. Finally, the HP Chromebook X360 14C rates an 8 out of 10. It features a sleek design, responsive touchscreen and solid performance. The drawbacks are its brightness in outdoor settings and shorter battery life than expected for its price range. These ratings reflect my personal opinion based on extensive testing and everyday use of each model. Each Chromebook has its strengths and weaknesses, but overall, they represent some of the best options available on the market today. And with that being said, we reached the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.